Hello traders out there in Traderland, D7 here with Grok Trade, <laughs> broadcasting from beautiful Tampa, Florida. Let's go. Got a lot to go over. <laughs> anyway, first thing we're going to do is take a look at the broad markets as a whole. If you check this out, guys, I mean, um, I'm going to build a big case here. We have a rising wedge. Those are bearish. This is looking at the S&P 500. This is called the spider. And if you look at this daily chart on the spider, I mean, let's blow this up a little bit so we can see it. The spider broke a area of support. Go to a line chart. Look at this. Support, support, we're just now going below it. Do you see this red line? Higher swing high. See this red line? Lower swing highs. It's called a bearish divergence on the um, centered oscillator, which this in case is the uh, MACD. MACD is giving us a bearish divergence, which is bearish. And on top of that, we have a rising wedge, which is bearish. And breaking this support line, what is that? Bearish. That's on the S&P 500. That's what we're looking at. Guys, wait until I get into the weekly charts. This has been a very difficult month. If you look at the last few weeks, you know, we popped up and then we've just been chopping around, playing havoc on the markets. Go here to the diamonds. Look at this. And <clears throat> Down, 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 building a bear flag, beautiful bear flag on the diamonds, bearish. Go to the cues. We're building a lower swing high, it looks like. On Friday, we popped way up. Look at this, popped way up and comes selling straight back down, guys. Rising wedge, bearish. Look for this to break down. Big volume, too, guys, on, on Friday. Big, big volume. Bearish divergence on the MACD, rising wedge at support. If it breaks that, big time bearish move. Again, these are daily charts. Look here at the Russell 2000. Down, 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 down. We're starting to rally up. It's saying we might have a chance of going higher here. I'm telling you this. If this thing starts to crash here, this bear flag, this could get gnarly and quickly. It could get down to this lower line fast and then break down through that. The, the financial ETF. This is the XLF. We watch this very, very closely, as you know. Huge symmetrical triangle. Look for this to either break up or down. You'll see how I drew my trend lines. You'll be like, why did I draw them like that? If you go to Trading View, look for their interviews. They interviewed me several months ago, and I did one on trend lines. And it's one of their most popular interviews that they have done to date. And I'm very blessed and honored to have done so. And we have picked up a lot of mentor students due to that interview. Happy to have you guys as students. But this symmetrical triangle, it could break way up or way down. It's building a lot of strength, moving averages, coiling in the middle. Look for financials to make this big move, gang. And, and when it does, be very in tune to what will happen with the markets. If this thing breaks up, the markets will break up. If this thing breaks down, the markets will break down. Be watching for death hooks, bullish and bearish death hooks. You could Google bullish and bearish death hooks to learn more about those. US dollar daily chart has been climbing up, up, up at a major resistance point right now. It's either gonna break through or drop from that area right there. And <clears throat> gold, big symmetrical triangle at resistance here. Uh, we do have, look at this. You guys see this? It's a banded baby, banded baby reversal pattern. Well, um, this thing could just get really, really bullish. Silver. Big bull flag, that's a bull pattern. And VIX has been at all time lows, and it looks like it's wanting to rally up, breaking over that resistance line. Not bad. Bitcoin daily it had a big, big drop as support, looking to try to bounce to get back above these moving averages. Right now, we're below most of the major moving averages. Now, I want to tell you, show you guys the weekly charts, guys. The weekly charts, this is big time trouble. S&P 500 weekly chart going higher. Okay. We're going higher. If you look at the um, RSI, we're, we're up here in the oversold area. MACD is very high looking to roll over. We're at a rising wedge. Last week we went up, 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 came back down. This week went up, 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 come back down. What do we have? A tweezer top on the weekly chart. 
That is a big time reversal pattern to the bear side. Diamonds. If you go over here to the diamonds, a lot of sideways chop, but this thing already broke down, has done this little rally, but this thing could just crash and burn. NASDAQ, a double top, a tweezer top, guys. Spinning tops. Last week, we had a shooting star. This week, a, a, a spinning top. Tweezer top at a resistance area. We broke over, and now we're back below. This is a jab. This is telling me we could be dropping right here. So this is a time, guys, you got to be really, really careful here in the market. So Russell 2000 already broke down, rallied back up, and this has got a ton of resistance here. <clears throat> MACD lines have already crossed over, heading down. Not good. The XLF, they've uh, banks, the financials, broke down already and is just floundering lower. Gold is floundering sideways, but this could be in a bull flag type formation. It could get bullish. Silver, silver, nice bull pullback to an area of support i don't like the basing it should have bounced last week it should have popped up it did not do that it still has a chance to do so but this if, if it goes below this trend line that's going to be weak we don't want that anyway that is it a shorter video i wanted to give you the main things i'm looking at on the daily charts on the main major indices we see bearish divergence we got rising wedge and we are we're at these support levels that are starting to get violated that is pretty bad, especially if the higher time frame confirms. And guess what? The higher time frame, the weekly chart certainly does. The S&P Diamonds, you can see both of those, or the um, Qs rather, S&P Qs, are, have gone up, giving us tweezer tops on the weekly charts after an extended run. This thing looks like it's ready to crash and burn. I don't know if this is the market high or not. But usually you trade until May and go away because bad things happen in the summertime. I'm telling you, summer times can be so hard to trade, especially when you have these big runs up and big sell-offs that we had the last two weeks. Last two weeks have played havoc in trading because it promised these huge, glorious runs to the upside. No, it comes crashing back down triggering stops triggering entries to get in and triggering stops to come out so frustrating to um, deal in this sort of market environment so anytime you see this sort of churn take place sometimes it's best just to bring risk back until the markets give you a decisive direction and move one direction or the other and then allocate funds to ex to exploit those opportunities of goodness <laughs> did any of you guys watch the debate um, i don't think there was a huge amount of people that tuned into it i'm one that loves to watch debates presidential debates especially especially and i my wife myself we watch these and um concerned about what i saw concerned <laughs> needless to say i'm sure you've been seeing clips of um what we've been seeing and uh, it, it's very interesting that we as here in america are um i think are uh, electing people at, um, at the ages of 80 um to r run our country something tells me pendulum will swing back and say we're going to need some youth to come in be looking for younger people, but highly experienced individuals. Um, I'm I'm not overly fond of lifelong politicians. I love the concept and the idea of um, businessmen or businesswomen being the ones to come in and to help run the country. Because if they can run a company, then they have the skill sets to be able to run a country. Politicians don't have that skill set, and. <clears throat> I don't know why I just went down that direction. But anyway, politics are um, important. Um, you know, your religion and belief are very important. Uh, we are body, mind, and spirit. And I think all of them are important. I've been playing racquetball for my body, um, so I'm losing a little bit of weight. Not bad. I play competitive racquetball. I've won my state, Indiana, twice for my division. Not too shabby. And anyway, looking to pick up a chess club. 
I'm here in Tampa. There's one. I'm looking to maybe join that. I love to play chess. So any racquetball players, any chess players out there? And what are your thoughts about what you saw on the debate? Woo! You know, let's be nice to one another in the comments below. <laughs> I love you guys. Catch you later. We'll see you. Bye. Guys, why are you still here? You just watched my video and now you're still lingering around. Might as well be with you now that I have your undivided attention. <laughs> Listen, if you haven't done so yet, I highly recommend putting in a foundation of trading, your foundation of trading through a mentor. For learning to fly a plane, you wouldn't just go through ground school before you start flying in the friendly skies. What you would be doing though, is going up first with your flight instructor. Same thing if you're gonna learn to ride a bike, you better have somebody behind you helping you ride a bike. Surgery, you're not gonna read a few books and do heart surgery. So every principle and with being guided by a mentor, let finances be this. If you are a trader, you rate you from amateurs to professionals. Mentoring will do that for you. Anyway.